Hey, there's Carl Fisher, Canadian Golf Teachers Federation Certified Teaching Professional in the Greater Toronto Area. This is the Carl Fisher Golf Channel, dedicated to the why, how, what, where, when, and who of golf. Uh, please click the subscribe button down below to follow along. I will be posting videos every Saturday throughout the golf season and beyond. Uh, today, and by the way, please give me a thumbs up if you, if you like the video, post any comments, uh, they're welcome, and you can ask me any questions you like as well. Today I want to talk about the most important concept when it comes to using your irons. Uh, the, these clubs, these irons are, are manufactured in a way that is, uh, the way to use them correctly, the way they're manufactured, is to have the club coming down on a descending angle into the back of the ball, then the club uh, enters the ground right after hitting the ball, goes through the turf and that's what creates, creates that nice divot you see when you're watching professionals on television or on YouTube, that nice divot that comes after. They struck, uh, strike the ball with an iron. It's because they're, they're swinging the club on a slightly descending blow with no fear of the club face hitting the ground. Uh, they know that that club is heavy, that leading edge is sharp enough and it's heavy enough and they're swinging with enough speed that it's going to easily cut through the turf and grass without um, causing any impact to their hands and without causing any pain. What I find with most amateurs that I, that I coach and teach is there's really a fear, uh, especially for new golfers, there's a fear and a belief. Um, there's two things happening. There's a fear of striking the ground with the club um, because people, I mean, it's, it, it, it makes sense to me that um, you don't want to uh, strike the ground with, uh, with the club because you might feel it's going to be, it's going to hurt. The club might stick and stay in the ground and therefore what most people do is they try and pick the ball cleanly off the turf without the club actually touching the ground. Um, and if it does touch the ground, it just grazes the top surface of, of the ground. And that's understandable as to why people would do that. However, what, what I'd like to get across is the concept that is required to be understood and accepted by golfers. You know, first and foremost, you have to accept that that's a concept that's true and, and it's a fact that the the best way, the only way for you to gain consistency with the irons is to uh, accept that that club is going to be swinging on a slightly descending angle, accept that and understand and believe that striking the turf after you struck the ball is the correct order. So ball first, then turf. That allows you to catch the, the sweet spot of the iron. Um, the sweet spot is actually above the bottom of the club. So if you were to try and pick that ball off the ground, you're actually going to be striking the club near the bottom of the club face itself, not in the sweet spot. And that's, that's what causes inconsistency. So it's something that you really have to do for yourself. You have to, you have to understand and experiment um, for yourself on the range, experiment with, with attempting to make swings where the club is coming down and striking the ball on a descending blow. Now what it looks like at impact is the club shaft is leaning forward. So when you're actually swinging and the club reaches the ball, the club shaft should be leaning forward. Now there's no set amount uh, that it has to be leaning forward. It could be down here, depending on the golfer. This is why uh, certain golfers have a lower ball flight or a higher ball flight than others. We all have, we all have a natural uh, shape to our shots, right? There's no perfect way to swing the club and there's no perfect launch angle. Everyone's slightly different. However, you want to have that club shaft leaning somewhat forward. It could be this much. It's never going to be that, this much unless you're playing some sort of specialty shot and you're in, you're in real deep, deep rough and you have to manufacture something. You're going to have the club shaft leaning forward anywhere between here and here. Okay, um, you, you never want to see 
I would never want to see someone swinging the club where the, the shaft at impact, the shaft is either straight up and down or leaning backwards. That's indicating that that individual is trying to pick the ball off the ground or actually scoop it up off the ground. And it's very difficult to be consistent if you're trying to always pick the ball cleanly. Hope you watch this video over and over again. This concept is really important to be able to, to play uh, your best golf. And I believe anybody can, can, um, can actually swing the club on a descending blow. There's nothing physically um, uh, preventing someone from doing that. I find that the real problem is the mind and body connection. I don't wanna to get too new age with people here, but uh, unless you understand and believe and uh, wholeheartedly believe and understand and accept that concept, unfortunately, you'll you'll struggle. Um, you can hit you can hit golf shots by picking the ball off the turf. It's possible people do it. Uh, however, if you're looking to gain um, accuracy, distance, and consistency, you really got to embrace that the club is going to be coming down on a slightly descending descending blow catch the ball first, then the turf, go through the turf, nice divot. Divot can be various sizes. Again, there's no set uh, uh, depth. You have, to, you have to let the club go into the ground. It could, it could vary depending on the person. Again, as long as that club shaft, shaft is leaning forward at address, that's the correct position anywhere from here to here. It varies from person to person, but you wanna avoid the club shaft leaning back. So if you're a right-handed golfer, this is this is leaning back. If you're left-handed golfer, it's the opposite way. Hope this helps. Um, watch it over and over again to to understand, let it sink in, and experiment uh, on the range with this idea of striking the ball with a descending blow. Once again, thank you for watching. If you're interested in, in actually having me come and coach you or uh, teach you in person, a call, text, or email me, I'll describe and I'll demonstrate for you the, the, the proper path of a properly struck, cleanly struck iron shot. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you soon.